By 1987, Buick is ready to wrap up production of this GNX, the whole Grand National thing. Now this 1987 GNX was meant to be sort of a commemorative addition to kind of wrap up all this production. Now the Grand National was really the only muscle car on the market, the only true muscle car on the market, one that you could do a burnout with, one that did a legitimate 11 something second quarter mile, and one that sort of captured the hearts of all of those guys who were pining for the muscle cars that had been effectively legislated out of business. Now this was a limited production run. 547 were built, this particular model is 321. Now, Buick would turn out the cars, send them over to ASC McLaren, and ASC McLaren would finish them off. Some rear suspension modifications, and of course, bolting on the turbo, and doing all the things that made this a really particularly collectible car. And so, sitting in the showroom at Legendary Motor Car, we took a look at it, and just knew that we had to take it out, and take it for a drive here on Dream Car Garage. It's not every day you get into one of these modern dream cars and worry about the amount of miles that you're going to put on the car. But this particular one, a 1987, everybody knew this was going to be a collector car long before it ever left the showroom. So we're going to try to treat this rather gingerly and try to put as few miles on it as possible. Right off the bat, this with 816 miles on it, for all intents and purposes, is a brand new car but it's a model year, 1987 brand new car. The tires are original. Everything about this car is original, but it was meant to be driven hard. So, even though we're gonna put very few miles on it, we're gonna lean on it. 20 years later, today this car still stands up as kind of a cool performance car. So, more than any other modern dream car that we've driven, you really have to ask yourself, do you need a car like this? This is a collector car with 825 miles on it. Do you need it? No, definitely you don't need it. But do you want it? This is a piece of history. This particular car is a car that's extremely desirable because it's perfect in every way. It'll be interesting to know when the next owner of this car comes along exactly what he'll do with it. Will he drive it or will he park it in the garage? Our vote on Dream Car Garage, as always, you gotta drive it. You really have to drive it. Because this car, for a 1987 automobile, is nothing short of spectacular.